Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about body imagery, and uh, I also think it's another uh, ring of power scenario in that, um, say I think it's important that I look, um, you know, one way or another, like, uh, you know, I, my youthful good looks or my, uh, my body or my face or my hair, um, you know, something something that's going to change, which is why I think it's such a dangerous place to put your power. Um, but I see, uh, now there I could see, I have a little bit of insight, just a tiny bit, um, because there's been times in my life where people have treated me differently uh, because of my body. And uh, I saw the, uh, the kind of attraction there. Because typically, like, for instance, uh, if you work out a lot, um, I mean, the reason why I did it was uh, um, for work. I was a bike messenger. Um, for uh, my hobby, I was a martial artist. And then to add, I opened my own business, and then to add to that business for income, I added yoga. And I had a yoga instructor um, that came and worked for me. And so... Uh, I guess that's where my power came from, that uh, I was just active and I enjoyed it. Um, but then people started responding um, to my body. Um, either kind of like, you know, <laughs> covertly or just right up front. Because um, uh, I was covered in muscle. Like there was, I, was, I could never eat enough. Uh, I was exercising from 7 in the morning. Uh, till uh, nine o'clock at night, um, almost uh, six days a week, and uh, you just end up with a, a body like an action figure. And there was like different things that happened because of that. Uh, good things like people became interested in me um, just because of my body. And actually, I knew these people um, for uh, there was actually this couple that I knew, and I'd known them for. I think over a year, and I rarely saw them. Um, saw them a couple times a year socially. And uh, uh, one, uh, one rafting trip we took together, uh, I hooked my shirt on a branch, and it ripped uh, half my shirt off. And uh, several of the people I was with, including this couple, could not stop staring at my body. Um, you know, I'm, I'm ghostly pale, for one. And uh, I was just nothing but muscle for two. And I guess they just didn't know that. I, was, I always wear just kind of like loose baggy clothing. And they treated me differently. Way more attention. Um, I started getting invited over to their house. Um, and uh, I kind of thought that I saw then the attraction. I could start putting my power, because my personality uh, wasn't doing it. <laughs> you know, They liked me, and we did do stuff together. Um, but then they got a look at my body, and they suddenly wanted to do lots of things with me. And so I suddenly saw like, the, the, uh, the draw, uh, or the trap, um, because there was no way I was going to keep that up. Um, yeah, you know, one of those kind of things like, well, enjoy it while it lasts kind of things. Except I still think that's like the ring of power. A little something you slide on your, your finger and then, uh, it, uh, yeah, and then you provide the illusion that this is, this is what makes me powerful. It's, it's my body. And, um, you know, this is what uh, people want. And uh, I'll just maintain this. And when they look at me, that's what they'll see. Um, yeah, it wasn't, for me, it wasn't, uh, um, I mean, my ring of power from that was uh, I felt really happy and confident about uh, um, my uh, Taekwondo studio and working uh, with yoga and uh, I really enjoyed being a bike messenger um, and so that's that's where I left it that's where I left my uh, my focus I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't decide I, I didn't decide to become a boy toy <laughs> um, but yeah I think I think I, I got a glimpse of how tempting that is uh, to, um, and how easy that was. Like that wouldn't have required a whole lot of extra effort. Um, I was already exercising constantly. Um, I, I imagine the next stage after that was wearing tight clothing. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know, but if you start getting energy and power and having people react to you, uh, you start looking for other ways to, uh, you know, to increase that and uh, and to capitalize on it. And and what a confusing uh, road that would be. But I think that uh, I think for a lot of people, that's a well-paved road and a well signpost as well. Like um, as far as like. Uh, there's magazines telling you what's sexy, uh, their makeup, perfumes, uh, uh, TV and movies. Um, I just watched a, a TV show where it's like an average community, and everybody in the average community is a uh, supermodel uh, style. Um, and you're just rail thin, super tall, and, uh, and you know, <laughs> you, you know. Um, yeah, so uh, I think a lot of people that would be an easy path to follow, and such a dangerous one, and uh, I, I'd say uh, doomed, uh, doomed to failure. Because um, I think, like, so my body changed. I'm now like 42, and uh, I exercise a uh, um, couple hours a day uh, lightly. And uh, but you know what hasn't changed from from my uh, my my 22 year old body. Uh, to my 42-year-old body is uh, a level of confidence and joy in, in me and who I am, and it's not all—it's not all good, but uh, but I could rely on that um, rather than trying to rely on um, looking like a, a, a GI Joe figure. <laughs> well, I, and I used to have like long, uh, flowing red hair too, actually. So I'm glad I didn't put a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, value in that either. All right, well, thanks for coming out for this beautiful day and uh, walking around with me and talking about my body. <laughs> All right, see you in the tubes. See you in the nude.